Radio is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a whole lot of fun. And what do I do? Well, I wake up really early, eat really bad food, and then wish time would go by because I actually can't fall asleep. This is the time. Out of fear that I might oversleep. Through my morning show, And even though I've been on air alone all this time, I'm with someone this time, and his name is Mark Gilman. Uh, You're from London, right? Yes. Okay, how long have you been in the sound media industry? About 28 years. Do you know who Mark Gilman is? Mark who? Mark Gilman. No, I never heard of him. Never heard of him? No. I have different perceptions about the guy, and he's been along for years, but... A lot of people also have different things to say about him. Some are ecstatic. Well, Mark Gilman, he used to be working for Radio Good Hope. And he would uh, always pull pranks on people, you know, phone them up, things like that. Hi, I'm Janine. I used to board Mark Gilman on his flights. And one day, at uh, I remember it was uh, April Fool's Day. I used to serve Mark Gilman's coffee. When he announced on radio that Mr. Mugabe from Zimbabwe was shot, he was assassinated. And that is one joke that backfired on him. He got the set. What do you think of Mark Gilman? I have no idea who it is. Is he in Seven Alarm? <laughs> I listen to 702 and Aris <laughs> And others don't really know who he is. I've heard of Mark Kondor. Do you know who Mark Gilman is? I don't know who is Mark Gilman. So even though I don't know what's going to happen next with this older guy on the international radio program on 5FM next to me. And they chased him out of the Cape. That's why he's in Johannesburg. I'm looking forward to it. Nice.